How is everybody? I don't know if I'm really in the mood to do this video because I really want to do this one well. I have figured out in numbers and have moved it on into words that are very understandable related to many aspects of life of why baseball has nine innings, has three outs, has three strikes for an out, has four balls for a base on balls. Why we have the seventh inning stretch and why the game can be over in the fifth inning on a rain out. How many pitches are thrown? How many pitches could be thrown? How many pitches can actually be thrown to a full count when the, when the batter is on or up? Each one of these entails a connection to the creation of everything. Every game fits into a number where a number came from somewhere else. God just re-related it so it can be re-related back. Baseball is one of them. Hockey is one of them. Football is one of them. Soccer is one of them. Backgammon is one of them. Blackjack is one of them. Roulette and craps are one of them. Pie gal poker and any game from around the world is one of them. All the games are included. And I'm the player. Because I can read between the lines. I can read deeper into it because I know what the numbers mean. I'm not perfect. I know what my nine basic definitions are. But when the man starts getting on base, you got to change the numbers. And the numbers change and the story changes. But the story still has a path. And at the end, it leads you to the dugout. But in most dugouts today, they're even with the field. But before the dugouts, we're below the ground. The infield, we have a mound. We put a pitcher there. But there's no water. We go to a base, but nobody's home. But somebody's on home plate. But he's swinging at a ball. He's having a ball. The catcher's behind the plate. Throwing all kinds of signs with his fingers. But when man shows signs with his fingers, most of the time we don't understand but this, or this. But this has a different rule to it too. This is not only bullshit. This is the outside finger and the outside finger of your, of your finger and your four fingers. <coughs> the alpha omega of the fingers. When it's with the thumb, it's the one spirit of five. They all mean something different. It's all <coughs> designed around the diamond. All these things I'm telling you, are two diamonds. One diamond is flat looking square, the other is on an angle looking like it's a point. So the point of the matter and the time I have spent with you is only based on what I will do next time. And to add on one little thing, six next to four, six next to two, to three. And now you play the combinations. There's many combinations on this. You choose one number, you choose two, you choose one number with four. How do you do that? The top with four around? Or the bottom? That's up now. Bottom's up. Look. Or let me go to this one. Let's say this was the bottom. Bottom's up. Now the two is at the top. And we're at the top of the order. When we finished at nine, we started at one. When you count the 36, we're on the pound key to nine. The tenth one would be the where the one is. After nine is one, because nothing is nothing, once the game has begun, point zero is no more. Now we're destined for the end. Thank you, my friends, for listening to me. Encourage me, please. I really need it. I am getting a lot of information. It, the gates are open and they are flowing. But I have to shut myself off, turn the water gates down. I can see how the information highway of the matrix works. I understand it. I can redesign it. But I can only design it the way that you would understand it. Otherwise, what I'm talking is an Irish kite and bull. If you can't understand it, my word's no good, even though my word is the truth. Raphael, the constellation is 7286. Homeland Securities, that's up there. That's where it's at. I don't know if you want to call it a god, but there's someone in the sky, as well as underneath the ground. If the groundhog can be under the ground, well, why can't God's spirit be underneath the ground?
If the swim, if the fish swim in the ocean, then why can't God's spirit be in the ocean? If the trees root in the ground and grow to the sky, well, why can't God root in the ground and grow to the sky? If the planes can hover and fly to the sky, then why can't God just sit in the sky? Raphael 7286